Hey guys, it's Chris here. Welcome to another video. Today we'll actually be reviewing the Salomon S-Lab Genesis. This is a new trail running shoe from Salomon. Uh, it has been in their development for uh, almost two years, I heard. And um, I must say it's, it, it surprised me a lot, this shoe. So yeah, my first impressions of the shoe. Uh, I got it about um, maybe two weeks ago. I did about 50 kilometers in the shoe, maybe 60 kilometers and about 4,000 meters in elevation gain here in the mountains. And yeah, I did a long run, maybe 20 kilometers. And I must say I was really surprised with the shoe. Um, I ran towards the mountain, maybe two kilometers on the asphalt. And I wasn't too amazed with the shoe. You know, I was thinking, you know, the cushioning wasn't that great. Where the shoe and surprised me was on the mountain. So uh, yeah, in the review, we'll talk about the positives, what I liked about the shoe and what I didn't like so much. As soon as I ran on the mountains, um, there were some wet conditions and I noticed the grip was really good. It's the Conta grip from uh, Salomon which has actually always been very good. I've had Salomon shoes before and I've never had any issues with the grip. Um, there were muddy conditions and going on the uphills, you know, I could go quicker on the uphills and had, had no problems there. So yeah, Contra grip is really good. Uh, I don't see any wear on the grip. Um, I did about 20, let's say about 20 kilometers uh, without snow and um, the rest has been here in the winter running on the snow. So uh, the grip hasn't been fading at all, but um, yeah, I think the grip's gonna hold up pretty good. Uh, really good in wet conditions as well. Uh, I didn't notice any slipping and yeah. Otherwise the fit has been also really good on the shoe. Um, I'm a size 46 and I must say usually with Salomon uh, the S-Lab series are very narrow and I usually have to wear um, let's say almost a whole size up uh, in order to fit inside the shoe. However the Salomon Genesis has been very good. Um, it's, it, it is more spacious and um, I am true to size with this shoe. Um, it is a little bit snug on the midfoot. Um, when I wear thicker socks in the winter, merino socks, then I notice that it is a little bit tighter on the midfoot and I have a somewhat wider foot. So if you have a really wide foot, I definitely recommend to try the shoe on. Uh, maybe try it on the mountains and see how it works for you. Um, you know, because if you do run on ultra marathons and on the trails, uh, you, you need a little bit more space for it to be comfortable. Anyway, yeah, fit has been very good and it has been a very comfortable shoe. Comfort has been very good. As I said, when I ran on the 20 kilometers, um, I can say that um, I haven't noticed any issues, no hot spots and um, no blisters uh, on my long run. I did want to get a longer run in before the review, but um, 20 kilometers uh, I will have to do for now. Anyway, yeah, uh, the upper has been really comfortable as well. I was worried about the upper. Um, the mesh here is made of um, uh, so, some kind of a Kevlar material uh, in order for it to last really good in the mountains. Uh, you know, when you hit the rocks or so, so after um, many kilometers, you know, you won't have any, any tears or so. Yeah, upper has been comfortable though. Um, it doesn't stretch at all though, uh, which is actually a good thing because um, when you run on the downhills and uh, run on technical terrain, you know, uh, a stretchy upper um, can, lead to, uh, can lead to some issues there. So yeah, the upper is really good. The lacing system is also really good from Salomon. Um, I really like the lacing system. I know some people don't like it a lot, but um, I really like it. You can, um, it usually holds up really well for me. True to size, really comfortable shoe. Uh, on the trails, on the uphills, I said the grip was very good. I must say that when um, I started running my first downhill on the shoe, uh, that's where I just started to smile because that's where the shoe did really well. Um, I felt really comfortable on the downhills. Um, the cushioning that the cushioning is a, was a little bit harder on the asphalt but when i started running downhill um, it was really comfortable and secure usually with salomon shoes you know i feel really really confident in the mountains when i run in them but i usually have uh, issues with the stack height and the energy return from the midsole but i must say this shoe has been a great combination when you run on the downhills the midsole uh, it's really soft uh, but at the same time you can run technical downhills and feel confident and um yeah really well on the downhills so one of the best shoes i know so far for the downhills after a while uh you know running on the flats the shoe broke in a little bit and i feel like it has improved there as well and yeah so those are the positives for the shoe um, i think this shoe will last a very long time maybe 500 600 kilometers at least and yeah let's get to the negatives um, yeah negatives on the shoe uh there weren't too many i couldn't think of much um one of the negatives are if you have a really wide foot, maybe you might have issues on the midfoot. Uh, you know, it might be too small for you. So I definitely recommend to try it on because the S-Lab series usually are smaller uh, in size, but um, this one is a little bit bigger. The toe box is wider, so it was true to size for me. So yeah, one of the negatives is it's a little bit narrow on the midfoot. 
Uh, another negative would be um, would be the price. So it is a little bit pricier. Uh, it is about 190 euros here, and it is a pricier shoe. But in my opinion, it is it is uh, definitely worth it. Uh, another negative. Um, what else? It wouldn't be too good. Let's say if you do an ultra marathon on uh, flat races. So this was this is a mountain shoe. It's made for ultra marathons in the mountains. Uh, you know, for running UTMB and doing technical trails. So I wouldn't recommend doing this uh, using this shoe on on the flat flat ultra marathons. It's uh, it, the energy to return is pretty good. The midsole. Uh, you know the stack height is um i guess i'll put the stack height up in the in the description but yeah not for long ultra marathons on the flats for running on the roads it is just uh it was made for the mountains it's a mountain shoe where it does really really well let me know what you guys think of the shoe uh it is one of my favorite shoes so far i'll definitely run an ultra marathon in it if you have any questions uh leave it in the comments uh, like the video if you like the video subscribe and let me know what you think thanks for watching guys